This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here this morning to fish a wacky rig, a Senko, actually a yum dinger. And we're just gonna pull it through the weeds, dance it on top, let it sink. We're gonna try all sorts of stuff to see if we can get an early morning bass. It's about 6.20 in the morning. Let's see if we can get one. So like I said, 6.20 in the morning and there are already, I don't know, 10 cars here at the parking lot. Fishing is a popular thing all of a sudden. Anyway, let's get rigged up. Here's what I'm going with this morning. Yum dinger in June bug. So I've got my little black hair tie here. I'm just gonna double this up. We're gonna walk it up the Senko or the soft stick bait. Got my weedless one out eagle claw here. And I'm just going to hook it behind the X in the rubber band. Just like that. That's what I'm using today. mystery waves. I don't see any boats, but there are a ton of waves all of a sudden. Water's looking pretty clear today. Can you see the rocks down there? I know the water's only a foot deep, but it's looking pretty clear. And it's looking low. Look at these weeds. They're sticking up out of the water one to two feet. I saw someone fishing down that way. So we're going to go this way. Really, really shallow since the water is drawn down so far. I'm fishing in like six inches of water over here. I'm still confident that there's gonna be a bass hiding in these weeds though. So we're just gonna drag this through. Anytime it has a chance to hit the water, we're gonna let it sit there for a second. But it's mostly just walking across the top of the weeds here because they're so thick. What's happening, fish and friends? My name is Devin from Debo's Fishing, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Fish. Come on. Get out of there. All right. First fish of the day. Right here on that wacky rigged yum dinger. So yeah, here's the first fish. We got about a one pound largemouth bass here. Got him right out there on the wacky rig yum dinger. Pitching it into the weeds from the bank. Nice fish. Yeah, pretty good thickness for a small fish. Nice and healthy looking. Let's let him go. That's one on the yum dinger. 
Let's get my lure straightened out. Yeah, just like that. Put the weed guard back on. Back in business. Let's keep going. So yeah, I'm just fishing the edge of the weeds, the gaps, the holes in the weeds. I'm not casting it out there as far as I can. I'm not worried about all that water out there. I'm fishing the high percentage areas. Catch any? I got one. Was there someone already fishing up this way? Well, I don't see anyone over here. Let's keep going. I'm guessing the guy who was fishing over here has left. Might be because he wasn't catching anything. Let's see if I can find one. I want one more. Come on, just one more. So far I got one bass and one bite. Yeah, this water is drawn down really, really shallow. These weeds are usually not sticking up out of the water two feet tall. <laughs> it makes fishing them a real pain in the ass. Fish, fish, all right. Let's see if I can get them out of these weeds. Come on, come on. Here we go. Upsy daisy. There's another nice bass. This hook wasn't coming out. There we go. Here we go, second bass of the day. Another nice largemouth bass here, about the same size as that last one. One pound. Thick enough, right? Looks healthy, good color. Yeah, nice bass. Got them down here on the weed line on a wacky rigged yum dinger. That's my second fish of the day. Happy to get another one. It's been a grind. Let's let him go. Sweet, that's two now. What's up guys, this is Jordan from Dude Fish TV and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. My rig is still intact, looking good. Let's keep fishing. Oh, and for all those gearheads out there who actually care about this kind of thing, I'm fishing a Quantum Icon 11 bearing bait caster. I'm fishing that on an All Star T40X. And yes, it's a bait caster, right? This is an older rod from the 90s, and I get a bunch of know it alls telling me that it's a spinning rod because. It has a unique guide set up here. Kids. Come on, one more. Home stretch, this is it. This is really shallow over here, six inches to a foot. I'm not too confident that I'll get one over here, but I'm gonna try because I want to catch one more. Oh. 
Oh, had a bite. Fish. Got him. He came back for it. He's out there in the weeds. Can I get him through the weeds? Come on. I'm gonna let him take some line. Damn it, I gotta go out there after him. I was hoping he could get out of there. Wrapped up in there good. I'm not sure how deep that is. So we're gonna go in there after him. I don't think it's that deep. I think a foot or two at the most. Let's go see if we can get him. I'm gonna come at it from this side so I can see what I'm walking on. Oh man, is he even still on there? I don't know. We're about to find out though. Look at him, there he is. Hell yeah. That's a nice bass here. Let's get back up on the bank so I can take a better look at him. It's about a two pounder. Good sized fish. There we go. There's that third fish I was hoping for. Yeah, nice, nice chunky bass here. Boop, boop. Good sized mouth on him. Nice big fish. Got him out there in about a foot and a half of water. I was trudging out there going after him because he was wrapped up in the weeds. Yeah, good fish. I'm gonna get a picture with this guy real quick. Yeah, good, now that I got my picture, let's go let this big boy go. Good fish here. Had to go swimming to get him, but it was worth it. Look at him go. Awesome fish. What's going on fellas? Tackle Junkie 81 here and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Well, that does it for today. I'm soaked, but it was worth it. Nice two pound bass there to finish off the day. I did get two other bass, about a pound each on the Wacky Rig Yum Dinger. Good summer bait, good to throw around the weeds. Hopefully you'll give one a try. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Serial number, baby. Serial number.